Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Sigit and in this video I would like to answer a question in my previous video about the design and production of a plastic shredder like this, this, and all of this. There's some question like uh, why I use belt, how you calculate this design, and even in my country some ask about how much price if that machine in mass production. For the first I have to tell you. That video actually was my documentation of my final project when I finished my study in Itanas and now that machine on my campus. And I work in another field so I can focus on shredding design. Okay, so let's move to the topic. In this video, I will share about how to design a DIY plastic shredder. Even you can build this machine without the calculation, but it may be waste your time and your cost while your build is fail. So for the first, what is shredder? Shredder is a tool or mechanism that cut a material into smaller pieces, usually used in recycling or to reduce the size of workpiece. And in my research about shredder, I found some kind of shredder, like a cheaper shredder, hammer mills, shear shredder, and grinder. And in my case, I designed a shear shredder. Here my shredder component design. There are shredder mechanism transmission, prime mover, and frame or chassis. In this topic, I will share about blade calculation, soft AC design, how much reduction, and how much power do you need, especially is on primary and secondary component. The next step is blade design. During the cutting time, plastic will give a load to the edge of cutting blade area. And I assume there's two load on blade in the same time during rotating and shred plastic. And the force in one blade will be about 4.48 newton. And the important point of design is we have to determine the material that we need. In this case, you can use simulation in 3D CAD software like a SolidWorks CATIA Solid Edge. It's up to you. And in my case, the stress analysis result max stress is 1.5 megapascal. So the blade material I choose. S30C. And the next step, soft AC design. I decide the total machine dimension is about 40 cm and 35 cm. So length of the soft will be 35 cm and has 12 blade on its soft. And if one blade has two force work and it will be a torsional load to the soft from each blade. So based on this force and this blade radius, one blade give load about 6.75 Nm to the soft. One shaft has 12 blades that give a torsion to the shaft, and there's 8 blade cut in the same time based on blade configuration. So the total torsional load in two shafts is about 108 Nm, and this will be load to prime over. And also with the same method stress analysis, I got the max stress about 296.4 MPa, and I use S50C for the shaft material. And the next is about the gear design. I use gear to move both soft. In this case, I try some experiment to make a different revolution for its soft. My purpose is try to thread using shear and tensile method. So I decide to use 3 to 2 gear ratio with this module and standard pressure angle. So based on simulation, I need S30C for gear material. By the way, don't forget the surface treatment for durability. And the next is final step, to determine the prime mover. Actually, it has some method based on your target. The first, if you have the prime mover motor, so you have to determine the max load from workpiece. And if you have the workpiece to shred, so you have to determine the minimum power of prime mover. And this was my case. I have shredder mechanism that has torsional load from workpiece, and I have to determine how much power that I need. So basically, the power needed is based on total torque and revolution. In this case, I need about 0.8 horsepower. Electric motor efficiency is about 80%, so net power needed is about 1 horsepower. In the market, 1 horsepower motor has standard revolution about 1420 rpm, and max torque is only 5 newton meter. That's why I need to reduce the revolution to reach the torque needed. It means I need a reducer. I have some option and I choose pulley belt mechanism. Consider the slip ability is safer for motor while overload, and exactly this is the cheaper option. 
So that I need to reduce the motor revolution to shredding mechanism revolution is about 24 times. So I decide to reduce into step. This is the step 1 from motor and this is the step 2 from shredder mechanism. And the calculation of pulley is, be careful when determine the diameter of pulley, don't over reduction or your transmission will slip. And try to look at standard spec of belt, how much groove that you need. At last but not least, determine the right type of belt section, type A or etc. And here my spec. The step 1 of pulley, I use 3 inch and 15 inch single groove. The step 2, I use 3 inch and 15 inch double groove. And the belt type is A type, belt 63 inch length. So finally, you can use my spec design and I have some advice for you that maybe you can improve in your own design. May it seems for calculation but in my design there's still some point need to improve. Here are the improvement point. The first is, I shred the PT plastic with under 1mm thickness, but the gap of each blade are 1mm. It should be as small as you can, but high precision means high cost production. And also you can add safety sensor in hopper and overloading sensor to prevent overload in motor. Okay, that's all from me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any question, drop the comment below. I am Sigit. See you next time.